If I were to ask you which sport you would associate the most with Canada, chances are you won't say MLB. Instead, most people would say either hockey or curling. To be completely honest, they wouldn't be entirely wrong either, as both of those sports are basically Canadian national pastimes. The rink is where family and friends meet for years and years every weekend. It is where friendships are made and where disputes are settled. While Canadian athletes usually lace up their skates in the winter, a lot of hockey players trade in their hockey sticks for baseball bats in the summer. Some of them even stick with baseball when the NHL dream ends. Some of them are also quite good at it too. In Canada, there are not a lot of routes to MLB in terms of college or high school ball within the country. There's just not enough time in the season for ball games compared to our friends in the South and most Canadian baseball programs have to start indoors when spring rolls around. That is why many Canadian baseball players head down south to play in college ball, just to receive national attention from scouts other than the Toronto Blue Jays. While scouting in Canada is becoming increasingly popular, there is just more attention to collegiate and high school players in the United States. Canada also does support many independent leagues within each province and even a few teams a part of leagues in the states, but many of these players are products of the farm systems of MLB teams looking for a place to play ball. The one route that many Canadian high school prospects can take is through the Junior National U18 team. This team has made up of the best Canadian high school prospects under the age of 18, and are all draft eligible in their last year, when they meet the requirements. They receive national attention because they participate in tournaments in the United States and sometimes in countries such as the Dominican Republic. While many Canadians still pursue the hockey dream when it comes to athletics, if you look closely at your favorite baseball team, you may find some prospects, current players, or even alumni that have Canadian roots. Next, the All-Star Slugger Page 2, photo by Joe Robbins, Getty Images, the first current Canadian baseball player you can probably think of is Joey Votto, and it is for a good reason. Born in Etobicoke, Ontario, Joey Votto has been an absolute machine at the plate, producing incredible slash lines year after year. His career MLB slash line is an outstanding .310, .427, .529 over 13 seasons, which is quite frankly an absurd number for any major league hitter. Votto went away from the norm for Canadian baseball players, as he was selected in the second round of the 2002 amateur draft by the Cincinnati Reds while playing for his Canadian high school. He would forego his college career and would move right into the Cincinnati Reds minor league system, working his way through the ranks until his major league debut in September of 2007. Since 2008, Votto has been a staple in the Reds' lineup every game, appearing in more than 145 games in eight of the 13 seasons he has been in the majors. This number is a bit skewed since 2007 was short-lived and 2019 is only 10 games in. He has even had two seasons where he has appeared in each game for the Reds, in 2013 and 2017, if his slash line wasn't enough, he also won the NL MVP award and Hank Aaron award in 2010, a Gold Glove award, first base, and has been named an All-Star six times in his career. He has also won the Tip O'Neill award, given to best Canadian baseball player in the MLB, seven times. While Joey Votto did hail from the Great White North, he also was quite outspoken about Canadian baseball. When asked about James Paxton's no-hitter, he too is a fellow Canadian, spoiler alert, he stated to Yahoo Sports Podcast that quote, as far as Toronto, and Canadian baseball, and the country of Canada, and James Paxton, being Canadian, I don't care at all, that really didn't sit well with many Canadians, but Votto did later apologize and said that he felt bitter at the time because of how much time he spent in America playing and was ashamed and embarrassed by his comments. Like a true Canadian, he said sorry. Page 3, photo by Sarah Steyer, Getty Images, nicknamed the Big Maple, James Paxton was born in Lander, British Columbia on the West Coast. 
Like many Canadian baseball players, Paxton would go down to play college ball in the United States with the University of Kentucky. While playing with Kentucky, the Toronto Blue Jays would draft Paxton in the first round at 37th overall during the 2009 amateur draft. It was a great storyline, a Canadian baseball player selected in the first round by Canada's only baseball team. Until it unraveled into a nightmare scenario. Paxton and the Blue Jays could not agree on a signing bonus, and when the Blue Jays questioned Super Agent and number one Blue Jays fan Scott Bohr's involvement in the process, not only did Paxton not sign with the team, the University of Kentucky would not take him back either. This is due to NCAA athletes not being allowed to have representation, and that if you sign an agent, you must go pro. So with no major league deal, and no college ball to go back to, Paxton would head to the Texas Air Hogs, formerly Grand Prairie Air Hogs, in the Independent League, where he would garner enough attention to be selected in the 2010 amateur draft by the Seattle Mariners in the fourth round. He'd spent his most of his career with Seattle until the offseason of 2018, where he was flipped to the New York Yankees. Do you think there were any hard feelings between Paxton and the Blue Jays? Well if there was, Paxton won the argument when he threw a no-hitter against them while playing at the Rogers Centre in Toronto. He became the second Canadian player to throw a no-hitter, Dick Fowler was first, and the first Canadian to do it within his home country. Good added measure, the Jays now have to face Paxton on a continual basis because of his new team, the New York Yankees. His career 3.43 era and 42-27 record will be fun to play against. Take the Blue Jays, page 4 Use your arrows to browse photo by Drew Hallowell. Getty Images, Nick Pavetta is another example of why Canadian baseball players head to the United States for exposure. There is just more professional scouts in the stands when you compare Canada to the United States college and high school baseball. Pavetta would go on to attend New Mexico Junior College before he was selected in the 2013 amateur draft fourth round by the Washington Nationals. The Victoria, BC native would spend two years in the organization before being dealt to the Philadelphia Phillies in exchange for Jonathan Papelbon. He would grind away in the Phillies farm system until 2017, where he would officially make his debut on April 30 against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pavetta has spent the last three years with the Phillies organization, and he has thrown a career 5.37 era with a 16-24 record. While his stats are most likely not what he would like them to be, with the recent acquisitions by the Phillies this past offseason, I can only imagine that his era and record may stand for a better result this year. Another Canadian in the big leagues with a long career ahead of him. Use your arrows to browse.